welcome back to my channel. So today I have a video that's been requested quite a lot um, for quite a long time, which is an updated perfume collection video. So I'm gonna take you through my entire perfume collection, uh, which I have here, and show you everything basically. So I'm not gonna do detailed reviews on anything, but obviously everything I have here, I already have reviews on. Um, so if you are new here, then do check out those more detailed review videos videos and if you're a regular do check to see if you're subscribed um, not everyone who watches is subscribed and you can of course get your pre-orders in for my fragrance that I'm launching later this year the link down below to my Kickstarter where you can pre-order and also where you can get a personal video message from me with fragrance recommendations it's all the links are down there in the description box and of course do give the video a like that really helps me so yeah Yes, <laughs> I have a lot of perfumes and I've actually just tried to do a bit of a clear out recently because I wanted to do this video and I just went through everything and got rid of some of the ones that I, um, yeah, I'm just not going to use. So what I use to store most of my perfumes is this uh, container here that's on wheels. Um, I got that from Amazon and basically each drawer is like a different category in my mind um, so let's start with the top drawer now the top drawer is where I keep like my favorite perfumes or like the most famous best-selling perfumes but ones that I'm not using regularly at the moment the ones that I use all the time I have on my dressing table so I'll show you them in a second so this is what it looks like um, so first of all, um, I just got this uh, Gucci Flora Eau de Parfum. This is discontinued, disappearing off the internet very fast. So I got in there before it was completely gone. Beautiful osmanthus smell, one of my favorites of all time. Absolutely mortified that it's been discontinued. Even the box is beautiful. So then we have um, quite a few Dior fragrances. So I have the new version of Miss Dior de Parfum. I also have Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet and Miss Dior Absolutely Blooming. And I would quite like to get the Eau de Toilette of Miss Dior. I have a sample of Rose and Roses. And then from Chanel, I just have one perfume, which is their Chance Eau Tendre. Then from Elie Saab, I have Elie Saab Lumiere, and of course, Elie Saab Le Parfum, two of my favorite fragrances. You notice I try and keep them in the boxes because sunlight is what erodes um, and ages a perfume. So keeping them in the boxes, protecting them. And I also have Elie Saab Couture, which is discontinued years ago, sorry, not Couture, Resort. Um, that's my dyslexia coming through. Um, this is quite similar to original I saw Le Parfum, just has some red berries in. Hmm, I think I might keep that out actually. Oh, and I also have Miss Dior Absolutely Blooming as a roller ball, uh, roller pearl, I think Dior ca calls them. They're really good um, for taking around with you in your handbag. And then some Armani, so Armani C and Armani C Intense. Um, which I used lots and lots during the winter, it's nearly gone. A sample of Armani Sea Passion as well. And then two here from Lancome, Idol Aura, the vanilla one that they just released this year. And then the original Idol, beautiful rose and pear scent in a limited edition bottle that came out at Christmas with this awesome star on it, which I love, one of my favorite designs. Um, so that had to be kept. Then I also have YSL Black Opium, Eau de Parfum, and I also have the floral version of um, Black Opium called Floral Shock, which is discontinued. So other ones that I've got out because I've recently been wearing them, they're on my dressing table, is my favorite Jimmy Choo, beautiful pear and toffee, Givenchy Irresistible, YSL Mon Paris, and Mon Paris Intense, Floral Street Wonderland Peony, Escada Summer Festival, nearly gone from last year that one was. Another discontinued one, Coconut Fizz from Guerlain Aqua Allegoria, so gutted that's discontinued. Bronze Goddess, another coconut one. And Dolce Gabbana Light Blue Forever, which is a really nice sort of Mediterranean flower scent um, that was from 2021, so that's discontinued as well. Erin Hibiscus Palm, um, very special, very expensive, but so beautiful. And Trezor Midnight Rose from Lancome, my sort of go-to evening scent. 
Um, speaking of Lancome, that brings us on to the Le Vie Belle drawer. So I actually had pretty much all the Le Vie Belles and these are the ones I've decided to keep. So we have the original, this is a limited edition bottle, but it's the original. It's a super praline vanilla perfume, one of the best sellers worldwide. Then we've got La Vie Belle and Rose, which is quite similar to Miss Dior, absolutely blooming actually. That same rose and fruit, um, but it's more affordable. La Vie Belle Soleil Crystal, just falling out. Um, this is another great one for summer, really coconutty. The latest one that they just released, We oui, Le Vie Belle, which has quite a um, strong iris note and a gorgeous spray gold glitter on the bottle. And Le Vie Belle Blanche, um, this is a really interesting one. Came out around Christmas time. It's kind of like freshly fallen snow. I'm not sure if this was ever released in America or not. I'll have to check actually. Um, and I think it was limited. Oh no, maybe not, probably still available. It's got this really nice like snowy top. So yeah, have to keep that one. Okay, so next is like more of my favorites um, that I guess didn't fit in the top drawer. So we have the Eau de Parfum version of Bronze Goddess. This is a bit stronger, more coconutty um, than the Eau Fresh version. Narcissa Rodriguez for her, a great everyday clean scent. My Way um, Original Eau de Parfum, again, a great everyday tuberose scent. Dolce Garden coconut. Volsche Viva, the Intensa version, and this um, has a lovely bourbon vanilla in, quite, quite sexy. Burberry Hair, Euphoria from Calvin Klein. Beautiful Magnolia, my top recommendation for gifting, for springtime, really great for lasting, pretty Magnolia. Jimmy Choo Eau de Toilette, discontinued. And Narcissa Rodriguez for her, I have the Eau de Parfum version as well as the Eau de Toilette. I do have YSL Libre, even though I'm not a huge fan of it because I like to refer to it in videos. Uh, Dolce Rose, really fresh um, daytime Eau de Toilette. And then I've got a load of minis in here. Um, these come in like sets at Christmas or in the airport. Um, so I've got Le Nuit Trésor, Jimmy Choo Low, Jimmy Choo Fever, Jimmy Choo Blossom. Black Opium, Prada Candy, Bomb Bomb from Victor and Rolf. Okay, so I think that's everything from the second drawer. Okay, so this next drawer is where I have some more of the sort of ones that didn't fit. So Jimmy Choo Floral, uh, great for summer, really fruity. Launch Deep from Givenchy, the intense version. Um, that's my favorite version of Launch Deep. Angel Nova, the Eau de Parfum, Versace Bright Crystal, Hugo Boss Alive, and Dolce Gabbana Eau de Parfum Pour Femme Intense version, another great winter one. So now we start going into more of the niche fragrances. So we have Guerlain, Le Petit Robe Noir, Atelier Cologne's Lemon Island, a beautiful summer fragrance. Mademoiselle Roche's Couture, really affordable. Uh, Lalique Soleil, and I also have a new version of Lalique Soleil called Soleil Crystal. Um, video on that coming soon. It's coming out here in the UK very soon, within in the, in this month. Beautiful bottle but you'll have to wait for that video to find out what it smells like. So I keep some of the more expensive ones in this drawer. So Parfum de Mali Delina, um, I think these are like 150 or 200, I can't keep up with the price. Um, very pink bottle. Pen Halligans, this is their Blue Bell. This is actually more one of their more affordable ones. I have this really tiny Omnia Crystalline. And then we start to get into some of the sets. So I have the Erin set here of um, their one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Erin fragrances. This seems to not be made anymore. Probably will come out for Christmas again. And I also have the Juliet Has a Gun Discovery Kit, which has most of their fragrances in. Um, I've got my Bulgari Omnia set here as well with Pink Sapphire, Coral and Crystalline in. Pink Sapphire just been discontinued. Have the Replica perfume set from Maison Margiela. Floral Street set of their perfumes. The Maison Crivelli fragrances. Pen Halligan's Scent Library. Cute little tin. Uh, Juliet has a gun lipstick fever, really love that one. And then from Paul et Moi de Parfum, their Gardens of India, beautiful tuberose, reminds me of Armani My Way. And then my penultimate drawer is where I have um, some more affordable ones. I also have this empty 200ml Coco Mademoiselle from 
which mum gave me that's perfume she wears so i've got coach floral blush and um, very affordable summer perfume zara apple juice a dupe of chanel chance au tendre ariana grande cloud and thank you next and then the final drawer has more affordable ones so escada candy love and especially escada ghost orb of night um, Escada Aqua del Sol, Beyonce Pulse, Sarah Jessica Parker, lovely, Britney Midnight Fantasy, H&M Flowerscape, my favourite from H&M, and then I also have their lipstick one, their sunray one, and their t-shirt one, though these ones might be discontinued, and then I have an empty bottle here of Delice de Cartier, which is one of my favourite bottles of all time. I have a couple of other new releases that I'm not going to show you now because I'm going to do a video on my favourite new releases of 2022. And then I have a bunch of samples and um, these are ones that I want to reference in videos so I have samples of them and then these are men's samples. So I think that's everything. Uh, I don't think I've missed anything. Oh, Miss Dior Cherie Eau de Toilette. Very rare, discontinued. I was actually thinking about selling this to help fund my um, own fragrance business. Oh, it smells so good. And it kind of what has inspired me to create my perfume as well. So it's going to have a lot of similarities, that popcorn note. Cool, amazing. So that is my perfume collection. Um, let me know if yours is bigger than mine or... Um, what your favourites are. Do I have any of the ones that you um, love as well? Let me know in the comments. I do read all your comments. Um, but that is it, guys. So thank you so much for watching, as always. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.